Welcome to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. I'm TNT Don. I'm IT Explosive One. Let's crack into another one. TNT. Yo. So, um, in, this happened in Maine, in Maine, Florida. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Um, I remember there. So, the employees of a restaurant, they had a, like a, a, bo- a wooden crate showed up to their plate to the restaurant and they all thought it was like a shipment of like mugs for the for the cafe or whatever makes sense yeah so they opened it up and there was a tote bag inside that had 31 pounds of fentanyl oh so they were like this looks like drugs and they like called the police and the police came and whatever oh then like a couple hours later like the guy (laughs) the guy shows up He's like, uh, hey, did uh, did a did a box come here? <laughs> like, look, like, no, and, and you like, can't do that. He ended up arrested. Yeah, imagine like, that. But like, I think he was just trying to plan it. Like when he got the notification, like your package has been delivered. To like get there and be like, oh, I think your my package got here. Ha ha, I'll take it. And like, but he he was too yeah. slow. He was sleeping or something. And he showed yeah. up, and they're like, oh, you want your thirty one pounds of fentanyl here? We'll take you to thirty one years of jail. Uh... Yeah, so oh, no. so there's stupid people in Maine too. Just wanted to throw that out there for everyone to know. Oh my God, can you imagine you're awaiting the shipment of all of your drugs, and it gets dropped off at the wrong place? He did it on purpose. He shipped it there on purpose. Wait, he ship? Why would he ship it there on purpose? So he could show up and just be like, "Oh, hey, my package came here." Oh, so he didn't have to go to his house in case it got intercepted on the way. He wouldn't get in trouble. "Quote unquote," but then he he it backfired because they opened it before he got there. Yeah, yeah. And they okay. turned it okay, into- okay. That's fair. Okay, so he should have been quicker. I feel if I had a shipment of drugs going to a restaurant, I'd be like waiting in the parking lot next door for the for the UPS man to show up. Yeah, that's and I'd just be like, "Oh man, I accidentally shipped my package here. Oh, I'll take that now. Thanks. Oh, it's me, Joe Smith." Exactly. Before they open it, I mean. I guess in his defense, he's like, they ain't opening no motherfucking package in a restaurant you the same day. You wouldn't think they would, but it, I mean, it was like a, a, a box. They're probably like, what's in the box? That is like a federal offense. I would counter sue. For opening his mail? Yeah. It didn't have you your freaking name on it. You would you think that if it was like Joe's Diner on the box, it would, but if it was like Joe Smith, they would have been like, oh, wait, Joe Smith doesn't. Yeah, why are you opening my ish? They should have called FedEx and been like, you've dropped off the package at the wrong place, sir. I wonder if you could use that in court to get out of it. I doubt it. Mm, I mean, admissible evidence. That man, you know how many people would have died because of that guy? I mean, you're not even wrong. People he, die because of fentanyl constantly. I'm glad that it's off the streets. That's 100% sure, but... What if I'm actually kind of glad that guy's off the street, too. Yeah. The drugs and a man who would do something that dumb. Not that he would order the drugs. <laughs> that he would, that he would like, do it that way. Like, be smarter about your drug dealing, bro. Like, right. I mean, no. Nah, I mean, he deserves to be in jail, so I hope he rots in prison forever. <laughs> Look, man. I'm just saying, what if he got to keep his drugs because they opened his mail? <laughs> He's like... Uh, excuse you. I don't think that anybody has ever filed charges on somebody opening their mail. Like it's one of those things where everybody says, "Yeah, it's a federal offense to open the mail," but nobody. You want to no hear? Cases you want to hear a story? Happened. So when I was a, a young, a young uh, Jonas in Ashtabula, Ohio, sure, I lived on like a just a, a off road off of like a main main road, and uh, I like I knew all my neighbors up and down the road. It was a pretty small neighborhood, and uh, I don't know. One day. I was like, I was just like, when I would walk up and down the street, I would just like open the mailbox and close them and whatever. Mm. So like there was a guy, used to, his name was Jim. I don't think, what was his wife's name? Phyllis, maybe. Jimmy and, and Philly. And I really liked him. I used to go and knock on their door and be like, hey, it's me. I'm walking around. How are you guys? Or whatever. And uh, You would definitely do that. It was, dude, it was a different time. You've man. done that to me before. I just walk in your room. Hey, buddy, what's up? Uh, hey, I'm walking around. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? I'm just cruising the house. I'm cruising, walking. The, I'm cruising the house. What are you doing? <laughs> knock, knock, knock. I'm just cruising the house, buddy. <laughs> so he had like a he had like a piece of mail, and I remember I took it to his door and knocked, and I was like, "Here's your mail." He like yelled at me. He was like, "He's like, don't get in my mailbox and get my mail." He must have been having like yeah kid stuff coming to his house or something. What, kid stuff? Yeah, I don't know, man. He was what? he was mad, dude. I would be too. If a kid brought you your mail, what yes. if you're old and can't walk to the mailbox? Nah, stay out of my box. You would be the Clint Eastwood in the neighborhood, wouldn't you? <laughs> nah, fam. Get out my goddamn lawn, kid. That's a slippery slope. It's like, yeah, okay, I trust the kid or whatever, but not. I don't trust him enough with my mail. 
What if I'm I get to steal a social security check? It, okay. What happens if the kid slips and my social security check ends up in the gutter? I rather, I rather I slip on a banana peel in the exactly. yard. Exactly. What if he sees that and uh, decides to pocket it or something? You know, stay out of my. Why even make it a problem? That's his wisdom. He made it a problem because you know what I did the no. next week. Took us and threw it in the trash. All right. Question. Yeah. Some kid comes and brings our mail from our mailbox. Knocks on our door and says, "Here's your mail." I'm like, get the hell out of here! <laughs> you don't check my mail. Thank you. Oh. Thank you. I that did. It's weird. And now we got Amazon. I can get adult sex toys through the mail. Yeah, and little Timmy's picking it up and opening it. He's like, "I've got your, I right? got your, just like life size." There we go. Brings it up. <laughs> holding it. I got a, a life size wife inflatable. Is that what? You're... Yeah, you got Sa right. Sally Jones. Yeah, Sally Jones. That's her name. That's the model number. You know, you know. Sally the one Jones. Got. Txn yep. seven. Yep, the one with the opposable thumbs. Yeah, yeah dude, she can crazy. She's got claw hands. <laughs> it's all thumbs. Oppos all opposable. Oppos <laughs> di disposable digits. <laughs> It's all opposable thumbs. It feels the best when you she Oh dude, she's oh dude oh, if everyone had all thumbs that'd be weird. That would be awesome, wouldn't it? Would that no, be you awesome? Only got, you know, no, because you have you you lose a joint on every finger because no, you only that's... thumbs only have two joints, bro. Oh I mean I guess they have three, but the, the one's like real low. You'd have a bunch of little hands. Oh you have a bunch of little fingers. Yeah, you couldn't like grasp. Like little chode fingers. Chode fingers. Yeah. What exactly is a chode finger? Yeah, look a that thumb? one up. That's an old term. Yeah, That's an old mean term. Yeah, it is a it is a it was a different time term. Yeah, so he didn't like it when I got his mail, dude. I wasn't happy about it. <laughs> but on in hindsight, when I'm an old man, nah. I don't want him to get my goddamn mail either. I don't. No, if I can get out there and do it, let me do that. That's my exercise for the day. Yeah. Then I'm back on Animal Crossing. There was a yeah. My neighbors were weird, dude. I used to like I used to like just go visit my neighbors. I forgot about this until right now. Visit your neighbors. I would. I'd knock on the door and just talk to them, dude. Really? There was Mister Fitzer across the street. Wow. And uh, this, is, this is honestly like a deep seated memory. I'm loving this. Mr. I Fitzer. totally forgot I used to do this until I just brought this who up. Else, yeah. Who else was there? Who else was there? What did Mister Fitzer like to talk about? He he died of cirrhosis of the liver. <laughs> So, oh, so I, I didn't mean to laugh, Mr. Fitzer. <laughs> so, I just didn't think he really remembered. <laughs> so you knew what Mr. Fitzer liked to do. No. Oh, he liked to drink. Mr. Fitzer was a drinker. There was Pearl. She Pearl. Lived, she lived next to us. Okay. And she was a bee. She didn't. She didn't care she, for she you. She was friendly to me, but I, my mom didn't care for her for some reason. Oh, okay. She used to spy on us. She would like be looking out the window. She, I don't know. Did she ask you questions about the goings She'd on be like, in What's your going household? On with your mother, I saw her in the yard without a, without a coat on last <laughs> night. It was chilly out here. I'm worried about her health. <laughs> Sorry, Pearl. I don't know. All right, who else was there? I want to know about the neighborhood. <laughs> uh, the other, give me another character. Uh, the mental images I'm coming up with. Are Laron and his crazy. mom lived on the corner. Who? Veron? Laron. Laron. And his mom. Laron and mom. Yeah, yeah. They were all right. Okay. He was he was a little strange. He deleted my SimCity world, dude. I was like I was like ten percent away from a megalopolis. I was so pissed. Man, Laron, if you're listening, I remember. <laughs> Dude, as a kid, that kind of stuff happened, man. Memory cards were finicky as hell back yeah, then. Yeah, like when my Mario 96 star got deleted yeah. off my cartridge, oh, and I'm dude, like... all the time. I'm like, man... I lost so many Legend of Zelda save files. Yeah, dude, what the hell? Who else was there? There was the Heinzes. They had two little two little uh, red-headed <laughs> kids. Heinz, Heinzes. Heinz. How were they named Heinz? Heinz. Oh, it was... H-I-N-E-S. Funny enough, there was another Heinz on the corner. <laughs> and they're redheads. And they were... Uh, Named after the ketchup. And there was three of them. They were kids. They lived on the corner of Jefferson Road. <clears throat> and okay. they used to come over and hang out. Okay. And I had a crush on their sister because she was very cute when I was a kid. I don't know. We were the same age. So I was like, oh, she's super cute. Okay, but, I lived on Jefferson Road. Yeah, I know. You live, yeah. We lived right by each other, but I already already moved. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I think I lived. I think I actually lived on Jefferson Road down the street when you moved there. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. yeah, we, we were neighbors and didn't even know it. We used to, <laughs> we, you, did you ever go dumpster diving at the Frito-Lay? Where? The Frito-Lay. No. No? I don't even know what the hell the Frito-Lay is. There's a Frito-Lay factory. Where at? Like on Jefferson Road, man. 
No, I didn't even know. Yeah, you used to go dumpster diving. Man, we should have. You could get freaking all the snack cakes. Oh, because it one day old snack cakes? <laughs> this is so <laughs> awful. Okay, so you would have to go on to the Frito Lay factory like at the end of the day. Like, you got to go early. That's when they are like. Because everyone right. else is going to get the snacks. Yeah, and basically, what they throw out is they put all the, all the food products in a, in a dumpster um, because they can't sell it because it's like it has like too late of a shelf life. But none of it is expired. It's just that they can't sell it. The, it it's like the sell by date. It's not yeah, the it's not yeah. expiration. It's just they can't sell it after that yeah. date. Or whatever. Like, honestly, you're looking at the stuff and it's like, oh, this stuff is still sell by date another week. But they can't get it to a store in that time and get it on the shelf and it'd be, you know, it just end up in back inventory and thrown out anyway. Right, 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 right. Which is kind of insane when you think about the waste that they're actually Oh, yeah, they're out. like, this is going to go bad in a month. There's no way we're going to get this to a store, get it on a shelf, get it sold in a month without yeah. it coming back to us anyways. We're exactly. just going to throw it away. Exactly. Instead of, like, I don't know, giving it to a homeless shelter or something. Or so a food yeah, bank anyway. or anything, right? Yeah, 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 so anyway, you go to Free to lay you go in a dumpster, and you end up with a bunch of grandma's cookies and those jalapeno crackers. Oh, gotcha. And, and chips and stuff. Where was it at? Closer to, like, the corner store on the, at the corner of the road or the other way? Uh, the other way, going towards like uh, where do you used to get your driver's license out out in that direction? I, We're just totally just talking. This is an Astra Beulah pale yeah, episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where you used to you have to go out to Connie out to get your driver's license, right? No, man, I got mine by the armory. Oh, see, I went out to Connie. Yeah, man, it's because you went to the bad zone, dude. <laughs> yeah, <Get out there. laughs> it was it was easy. Anyways. Anyway, it was going out that. All way. right. Let's anyways. Go. Welcome to Ashtabula. Go to thecrazytown.com. Never visit. Don't don't go, it's please. Awful. Please don't go. It is the worst but ever. The lift bridge is cool. What are you doing? They have lift bridges all over no, the No, they world. don't. Covered bridges in Ashtabula County, that's a thing. There's like 18 of them. People don't know what a covered bridge. A wooden bridge with a roof? Isn't one of them right by a strip club? No, it's not a covered bridge. Oh, okay. It's under the bridge, but it's not a covered bridge. <laughs> there is a strip club under the bridge. There is, uh, there is one there. Crazytown.com for Jonas. TNT. Yep.